Rowing is a, a lung buster and a leg burn. I can tell you that the easier it looks, the better the team. I think it's all kind of like smoke and mirrors. The, uh, you know, there's so much going on inside of the boat, but from a spectator or from a coach's standpoint far away, you're looking for rhythm and smoothness and the aesthetic of rowing. The efficiency and the smoothness of rowing you see, it comes from volume of work, from miles and miles of rowing, uh, hours and, and thousands of kilometers on the water. That's what they try to do every day, is just practice the same motion over and over again, and they can maintain that uh, stroke cycle consistently with good rhythm for uh, 240 strokes. They have to be crafty in the way that they apply pressure, so they have to work together to create good rhythm and move the boat together. If you can time everything well together and have that perfect boat feel um, and have a real strong unity, the boat is going to go a lot faster than if you're eight individuals working and pulling against each other. And the better they look, the better they're applying that energy, but the reason you see them all collapse when they cross the finish line is because that is how challenging rowing is. You know, but in the end, it's just there is no individual performance. It is a one boat, one team, one dream.